Hi, this video review will give you some insights on Squarespace.com, a New York-based premium website builder. Let's start by logging into our account. To make changes to your website, you'll have to get familiar with these five buttons. If you want to add content to your page, click on the A icon. Now these edit buttons will appear everywhere there is content to add or change. I just click on it to start the editor. What you see now is a standard, what you see is what you get, editor. Here you can insert images, links, videos, and slideshows. Play around with the formatting of your text here. To make structural changes to your Squarespace site, click here. Not only can you now add new pages, you can also enable, disable, or remove them entirely. When adding a new page, you have to choose what kind of page you want. This can be a blog, a picture gallery, or one of the many widgets that Squarespace provides. Most of the time, it will be a simple HTML-based page, like the one we're on right now. By clicking Configure This Page, we can adjust settings like the page title, the URL, and the description, which will make the eyes of SEOs shine. What I mean by that is that Squarespace provides great options for search engine optimization. Further down below are advanced options for the style of your website. You can play around using style sheets. For example, it's possible to use a completely different style on your home page compared to all other pages. So let's jump directly into the style menu. The options you can find here are certainly something that makes Squarespace very special. Here you can select your basic template. There are some nice options, however the range is a bit limited. But you have all the freedom to adapt these templates the way you want them to be. Let's start here. The layout is completely flexible. That means the sidebar can be wherever you choose. The same goes for the navigation. And now see something super extra special. Here you can define exactly how wide you want your website to be. Fonts, colors, and sizes is also great. It lets you customize the style sheets in a much easier fashion than almost every other website builder. That said, it helps a lot if you generally have an idea what all these things like margin, float, and border mean. Finally, to get an idea how your visitors would view the site, click on Preview. Another important area is website management. The dashboard will give you a quick overview of what is happening on your site. Under Architecture, you can organize your pages via drag and drop. This, for example, is my main navigation. These are the containers in the sidebar. And here's a page that I'm hiding from the navigation. This part is somewhat unnecessarily complicated, but you can find some useful information in the Help section. What we don't like is that the navigation is limited to two levels only, which is not a lot, particularly for larger sites. A great feature of Squarespace is the Member Registration Module. You can define audience groups and determine what each audience is able to view on your website. In the Business Plan, you can even create a public sign-up form for user registration. just like the one you see here. Finally, a main reason to use Squarespace for many of its customers is the blog module. It gives you everything you can expect from a professional blogging platform and even measures up to platforms like WordPress. In fact, Squarespace even offers an import feature for WordPress blogs. But also, the other way around is possible. They let you go if you want to by offering an option to export all of your data. Squarespace is probably not for everyone. It's a bit more expensive than most other providers and offers a very high degree of flexibility. To make use of all the advanced design features, you should have at least a little bit of a technical understanding or the willingness to learn more about it. A big plus is Squarespace's support, which is usually super fast and very helpful, but most of the time their help section will already answer most of your questions.
An area where Squarespace should improve is the missing smartphone-friendly website version. Also, there is no e-commerce option at this time. But if you can do without these features, Squarespace could be the perfect website builder for you. Please also check out our detailed website builder review on WebsiteToolTester.com. There, we also link to this demo site, which gives you some useful information about Squarespace's features. And if you found this video useful, I would appreciate if you could like it on Facebook or YouTube. Thank you.